Hey, some of you, I don't know what instrument you got. So I know right now I see your names up there. So go back to name change and just hit slash 8500 slash SE2 slash whatever you got. Okay. Or you could put it in the chat too. That's... Yeah, you can put it in the chat too. I can find no, it there too. But if you got it. If you're able to rename yourself rename and it. just put you, the organ your own next to it, it would be helpful because we always see that. We, but, we always, yeah, but we'll but, be able to manage. The more you give us, the more we're going to focus on the legacy, the holiday classic, uh, people that own the Odyssey would benefit from this, the Encore. Am I missing stuff? Oh, well, anybody who got presets is going to. Yeah. Uh, so those are the organs we're focusing on. That's what we advertise. And yeah. if you have something larger, obviously you're going to benefit from that as well. So I can't do this background because then your organ disappears. Is that a, oh. is that a, is oh. that a legacy that you're playing on in an what, SG? Yeah, no, no, Jerome is in the snow right now. He's playing in the snow. <laughs> Come <laughs> on, get out of the snow and get to work, Jerome. Okay, there we go. All right. It's time is to that always... a legacy uh, SU-300? Uh, yes, yes, that's it a is. legacy SU-300. That's what I thought. That's yeah. great. That's what I have at the Masonic. Well, well then you better take Masonic good note, light. mister. Yeah. We're gonna quiz you on this. All right, I'm gonna play a song first. Yeah, yeah go ahead. let's do that. Here let's we get, go. All let's right. get the brain juices flowing here, the musical brain going with a little some music and then. resting on our organ. I got a feather here, Robert. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody know the name of that song? I was, I was little, trying not to do I Christmas. I was a little hungry. Here. Sorry. I was, I was on talking. the mountain. Oh, there you go. I don't would know that, but go tell it on the mountain. Great. Today is going to be a, a, probably a three-part session, okay? And it's the three ways you can set up the instrument. Any Lowry instrument pretty much 95% of them, okay? The first, I'm going to hit my reset button over here. It's not going to change the volume on the organ, Robert, because we get the pedal all the way down, okay? Well, we'll see. All right? <laughs> That's the theory anyway. Depends where the master volume is. The master volume still where it's at, okay? Still where it's at, yes. Good, uh, good, good, good. You did good at that. Here's some of the people that what they own. We got some prestige. We got an Odyssey owner. Oh, Century. Century owner. You better take care of our Century and Odyssey. I see. Boy, you ought to see an Odyssey. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Oh, and, someone said, I want a symphony. I want to. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's see. 
The symphony owner, Prestige, Siege, Odyssey. Siege. Someone said they had a legacy, legacy. earlier, so that's yeah, good. That's good, yeah. Very, and very good. I think in some of the name changes, someone put legacy. There, uh, Jeanette. Yeah, this is pretty good. Is it Jeanette? Did I pronounce that right? You did, and I just got my legacy ordered, uh, delivered today. I did have an Odyssey. Now oh, I have my hey, goodness. All right. Way to go. All right, so pay very close attention. Since you're on the legacy, you got your work cut out for yeah. you there, mister. Write this down if you can. There's three ways you can set up the Lowry Oregon, maybe even <laughs> another way. Here's the way. Here's the way I look at it, and everybody, everybody that I've met in this business, in the Lowry business, pretty much would agree, except they might do it in different order. Okay. Now, if you just wanted to play the organ without the rhythm, okay, all you got to basically do is turn the instrument on, which most of the time on any Lowry organ is going to be is going to be uh, on the left side. Okay. Uh, if you would turn the organ on and hit your easy button, that means you can just play the or beautiful sounds of the Laurie organ by using the easy button. So I just turned it on. Now I'm going to hit the easy button. I have to put my glasses on because i got to find out what the easy button is. Oh, this, oh, this one is really easy to find because it's right in front of me. If you turn on the easy button and use the presets, you can play a lot of tunes, especially around the holidays, with just the easy button with no rhythm. So let me get this straight, Joel. Okay. I'm fairly new at this, or I just got my legacy delivered, right? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, I'm fairly new in this hobby. I've got a legacy odyssey, something like this, and I just, just wanted something simple. I just turn on the organ, mm -hmm. press easy, and play. Yeah. And then you're going to use what? I'm going to use just the easy button. I'm you said something about presets. Oh, just the presets. The presets are right in front of you. Now, you got two types of presets. You got the general presets, and you also got the rhythm presets. Now, believe me, the rhythm presets. What about category presets? Category presets, too, on this particular model, yes. Some models have what's called a category. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But everybody has general. General, right? yes. Uh, but most of everybody that we included in this particular group of organs, even the, I even said century owners, Fiesta owners, they have pre general presets. Yes. So what is the difference between a general preset and a rhythm preset? The general presets of some presets that Lowry came out came out with years and years ago to go around pretty much on everything that they had uh, would make it easier for somebody to play the instrument right away. That And they're all the same way on pretty much all of the organs that's out there, except for you might have two more on some of the bigger models or maybe one more on some of the bigger models. This particular model has 10 on it, so this is the same as some of the elite models, okay? Now, you can change those um, uh, if you don't like just the rhythm presets, and I'm going to explain how, what the, how the rhythm, rhythm presets, I mean the uh, general presets are, what they do. For the most part, in your owner's manual, preset one, it's going to be eight organ sound. Preset two. What type of organ sound, Robert? A I think that's St. Patrick's Cathedral Church organ. Okay. Ooh, that's in New York, isn't it? Yes. And, and, and if you go right down the street from St. Patrick's to Radio City, you're going to find number three, the big theater organ. Big theater sound. That's like the theater organ of Mighty Words right now. By the way, those sounds, anybody who has on all of the organs that's represented today and that we mentioned, anybody that has these presets, these sounds are the same. So like before the uh, Legacy, the Odyssey had these sounds. Um, now, granted, they're going to sound better the bigger the organ. You know, the theater organ is going to sound a lot richer on the Legacy than it did the Odyssey. But they kept that the same so that you don't have to relearn anything. But as he goes a little further, uh, and then there's the Monovani String Orchestra, I believe, in number yes. four. Okay, I had to do that. I had a sudden <laughs> urge to do that. I don't know why, I don't but know I did it. Is. And then, and then some of the models that progress five gives you the beautiful. Well, there's two ways to explain this because depending on the era of instruments, originally they were just labeled as chimes, 
when the SU series came out, they really made those chimes sound like an actual carol on. Listen to that. Boy, that's a great holiday sound. And then six is organ with harmony. Well, you're not going to hear the harmony unless you... Well, he has the easy button on. Yes. So. Three-part harmony. Which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, and then seven gives you the vocal, but now on the SU series is, and on up, it's more like what we call the tabernacle choir. It's just Is a what it's a beautiful piano and strings combination. Static. So that's a little static. We got static. Is it out of him or is that on my voice? Anybody else out there saying? Uh, we'll keep static? working on it as we go. Okay. Um, Number nine is static. What, What's that? Say that again. Too much static? Okay, well, we'll, we'll work on you guys. That. You guys sound fine. Horrible connection. Okay, I'm okay, sorry. This sounds like somebody else's individual connection. Yeah. Nobody's just saying nothing. All right. Um, number nine, I don't know. Some of you in Florida may know. Oh, look at that. Well, gosh, it's about time, Sean. I've been guessing the whole time. <laughs> I was like, what is that next one? What's that next? <laughs> now, uh, now, you, now, some of the sounds, if you look at number two, it won't say St. Patrick's Cathedral, okay? But when you hear that sound, I think that's what they are modeling it after, the mighty theater organ rising from its glory. Now, number nine, it says great jazz organ, but how many of you in Florida know a name Lenny D? Yeah. Play a little alley cat or whatever, something. That's the famous Lenny D sound. And number 10, do you remember how to play the song Moonlight Serenade? Yes. Okay, so number 10. <laughs> now, they can't say, now if you look, it says the un, this is the unmistakable sound of your favorite big band. <clears throat> like preset six, it activates a harmony, but... They can't say, they can't put in the book, this is Glenn Miller, but when you hear this sound, this is the sound that Glenn Miller, the famous Glenn Miller sound. Ooh. Makes you want to go, ooh. Now, we talked about the presets, but I stopped you from what you said in the beginning. Just turn on the organ. Press easy button and then play some of those presets. Presets, exactly. And you said something about you could play some holiday songs. Holiday songs, Let me yes. hear it. You got to demonstrate that. Now, when I do the holiday songs, I might want to switch the presets. Here's a way you can trick the organ in, on the presets. For instance, if you're a country lover and you still just want to play uh, the rhythms, I mean, no rhythms, hit the country button along with the rhythm preset button on and turn it off real quick like and hit your easy button now you're going to get the presets from the country band so you can trick the instrument if you want to you can do that on almost all of these instruments so right now i got like maybe um see now i'm on the country presets now i'm getting the country band Oh, it only does it on zero positioning. So remember that, okay? So what? Ba so what he basically said is, well, let's back up. You turn on the organ, you press easy. Uh huh. Go ahead and power up. Start from scratch. Okay. He's gonna turn on the organ. All right. It's on. Press easy. And then he's gonna press. See, it's still on. No, you got to turn on the organ. Hit reset. Okay. We're gonna start from scratch. You turn on the organ. All right. Hopefully the masters press easy. Easy. And then he starts playing a song and then hit, hit a couple of the general presets, if you will, when you're playing. No, play. 
No, play a song. Play, H1, play! do another preset and 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 onward and onward now what Jerome was saying is if you put on if you notice point where the rhythm preset is see it I don't know if you could see it in the picture there uh, I don't know if is it on there well it's there I don't know if you can see it you'll notice it's in yellow it's kind of a yellow color that means it's on standby the minute he presses a rhythm go ahead and push country country and what color did it turn? It turned red. It turned red. Now play on the top keyboard. You get a country sound. Now, if you want that country sound and you want it to remain, just press country button off. Yes. Push your easy button back on. And now you have that country guitar with just easy button. But what happens is if you notice the rhythm preset is back to yellow, so the minute he pushes those presets again, now they go back to the general presets. Yes. Those general presets are always going to remain the same. But I still can go back to zero positioning if I want to trick the presets to play soft and easy presets on and off. Okay. I'm going to get piano and strings. Turn off soft and easy. But turn off soft and easy. Actually, go ahead and put soft and easy back on. Okay. Just play a couple notes with it, upper and top keyboard. Like somewhere oh. else. <laughs> okay. Somebody was kind of crackling in and yeah. out there. So yeah. now, if you turn off the soft and easy, okay? And play that same thing with the top and the bottom, you get this. All right, turn off the easy button. So you can go through and use the same settings from the rhythm preset. Now, but Jerome, I'm just yeah. curious. You were talking about general presets. Right. Now, there are some organs that have, actually, all the organs have a rhythm preset. R right, rhythm preset. So yeah. what, what does that do? It turn, it changed the sound when you selected the style. Yeah. What, what the, that uh, actually, if you want to play country, you want to have a bunch of country musicians throughout. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, if Sean's there. If you can put in the chat what your issue is, we'll try to get through this. Yeah. All right. I can't hear what you're saying, so I'll come back to you. Okay, so rhythm preset, when you put on a rhythm. If I put on a big band rhythm uh, in the rhythm presets, what that means is, for the most part, throughout the 10 <coughs> presets and zero positioning, I'm going to get a group of big band musicians. So what's in a big band? Big band normally have about 17 piece orchestra. You got trombones, clarinets, saxophones, maybe a guitar player and a piano player and trumpets, okay? That's what's in a big band. If I go to uh, put on country, then I gotta think about what I got in the Nashville country band. I got a fiddle, okay? I got a banjo, I got a mandolin for the most part. I got guitars and drums and pianos. If I go to a march band, I'm going to have pretty much everything in the orchestra, including a tuba, all right? If I go to a polka band, I'm going to have a euphonium or a uh, what we call a hand tuba, all right? Um, if I go to um, soft and easy, more than likely I'm going to have a four or five-piece uh, quartet, like maybe a piano, no, bass, and I'm strings. I'm sorry, I have to interrupt. Okay, you've been telling us all these good stuff that we're getting, but you're not showing. Oh, them. we're not showing. No, okay. you got to play, show, demonstrate. All right, here's the soft and easy. So he's got a soft and easy rhythm preset zero. Rhythm preset zero, and I'm not gonna and stick with all Christmas songs today. No, but just play whatever you want to play.
preset. very pretty that was soft and easy I heard some piano and strings so yeah. what happens when you pick another rhythm if I pick another rhythm let's say we pick um, rhythm with the variation button on and it's gonna say going to Maui all right watch this it's gonna come bring it's gonna take your all of your rhythm uh, all of your rhythm preset buttons now is going to be based around a Hawaiian band all right oh I didn't know you know Hawaiian music <laughs> Let's break this one up a little bit. so pretty now I, I picked that now, up from Dennis off by the way, okay <laughs> now folks <laughs> this is a topic I'm looking on the screen here I know some of you have seen this chart we've talked about it but as a once great educator once said and some and I've heard it many times by Paul Schaub we learn by repetition if you look at the screen there folks this is the way your rhythm presets are set up oh yeah, that's general presets let me find rhythm, there you go, right pre there. You just passed rhythm presets. Wait, there's a little chart. There it is. There it is. Okay. So when you are using rhythm preset in any style, this is a great page to have. And I am going to post this video later. And I'm going to leave this screen here for a few seconds. You guys can write this down. Because when you're playing the instrument, like Hawaiian, you use soft and easy, you mentioned country, any of those styles. When you use rhythm preset with country, you're going to get all country sounds. When you use big band, you're going to get all big band sounds, et cetera, like you said. But this is the mapping of how the sounds work. So if easy basically means it's going to be light and easy sounding. Mm -hmm. Two is a little bit more. If I put on Hawaiian, put on that Hawaiian again. Just play the rhythm. Okay, now watch what happens when he goes to number three. And just hit a couple notes at the top. It's an organ sound. Now it might have vibraphone, but it always has an organ sound. Right. It's still a Hawaiian sound. Let's hear number four. String, strum. Bells or whistles, bell-like type sounds. Six is a solo. Let's see what that sounds like. That's a solo sound. Seven, vocal type sound. Eight, should be a piano. Number nine, ensemble. Christmas, yes. 
Al Jerome. Great. That was, I actually have heard Blue Christmas many times. It's uh -huh. country. Uh -huh. What style did you use? Because I know everybody's going to be asking. Which one? Hawaiian. I Just used a Hawaiian? Hawaiian? Yeah, Hawaiian. It was actually going to Maui. 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 <laughs> Maui. Ma -ma 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 -ma. I've been to Maui many, many times. <laughs> So, oh, okay. in case you're wondering what he just did, he has <laughs> Hawaiian. He just turned on Hawaiian. Mm -hmm. Variation 2. Variation 2, which exactly. Which gave him the Gone to Maui style. Yes. If you don't have Gone to Maui style, Jerome has a few Gone to Maui style buttons for sale. Yes. They're pretty expensive. They come with a free organ. That's how expensive uh, they are. And, and, and I know some people probably that got Prestige Plus. But you're going to have two or three more Hawaiian sounds on there, okay? And one of them is... Uh, I uh, forgot the name of it, but I, I like variation number four on that, okay? They've got quite – actually, any of those Hawaiians will work nicely, but that's the one he was using. You, you and you were using the rhythm presets as we showed on the screen. Now, you got some pretty bell-like sounds. You had yes. some strings. You had some vocals. You know what was so smart about Lowry at this point when they did that, Robert? What? They still centered – Almost all of those rhythm, those rhythm presets around the general presets. Did you notice that the green button was always some type of bell sound? Oh, yeah. The green button. Okay. The green button was almost every time like a. That's right. Yeah. So, now, uh, before we go further, uh, we've talked a lot. And we didn't give you guys. Time. Down here before I fix the call. You have a question. Anybody have a question? James, Jim, you have a question. You have your hand up. Chuck has a question. Chuck, where are you? Let me see you there. Charles Miller. Chuck, are you under the That's me, yeah. How are you doing, Chuck? I'm doing well. Um, could you go back to where you started doing what you're, that got you to the point to do what you're doing now? <laughs> you, you said you turn on the organ, you push the easy button, and then you push the rhythm Okay. Preset button? Yeah, yes, what, yes. What yes, are those steps hold on, that hold get on. you to the point where you can begin right. to play the different oh. presets? Okay, hold on one second. Let me... So so what Jerome said is there's two or three different basic ways to get started. The first way is turn on the organ, put, on your, easy, put on your easy button. I got to mute some people in the background, sorry. The first way is to turn on the organ press easy, and then just play the presets in the organ, those general presets in the instrument, okay? Yeah, now the next, the next okay, method is where way, I got confused. But before I go to that, that's way number one. Now, if right. you want to play with, that's playing without a rhythm. Sometimes people want to just play a song without a rhythm. Sometimes they want to play a song without a rhythm, but they may like that initial setup they get when they turn on a rhythm. So what Jerome did is he selected a style like country, soft and country. easy, whatever. Okay. Rhythm preset zero is on. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then and it gives him what sound is on there? That's a country guitar. Country guitar. All right. So at this point, if he turned off the rhythm, he Why has that exact that. same sound on the top and the bottom keyboard. Without the rhythm. Without the rhythm yeah. is all. Okay. And then you just have to remember to turn on the easy button. Yeah. And if you want to bring the rhythm in later, right. you can always just hit the country rhythm back again. Now, the next thing he said, and keep in mind, if you have, Chuck, if you have any other f future questions as you try this out at home, give Drum a call and bug him because I don't like him sitting around doing nothing. He likes to stay okay. busy helping students. Did and, you get that, and, Chuck? And I have to tell you, just as I got a, that. I have to tell you. Yeah, so he's still Look at this. Time. We had a student drop these off. If you don't keep him busy, he's going to be sitting at the desk <laughs> eating these all day. And then okay. I'll be okay. last You know what Robert is trying to do? He's trying to give you a hint. We need more, <laughs> yeah. more boxes like that, okay? Um, okay, so the second way. Well, I'm was, losing my train of thought because I love cookies. Okay. <laughs> the second way is the. So back to, back to square one. I'm turning on the instrument. And just push easy I'm button. Pushing the easy button. Play a song and use the general presets. Right, I've got that. Okay. And if I don't, if I want rhythm, I just push the rhythm button. Right now, here's what you have to keep in mind, though. When you're using rhythm, 
and I think if you point, he'll point his finger, you want to make sure that that rhythm preset button is lit, okay? Because if it okay. is not, if it is not lit and you ch turn on a rhythm style, you're going to get the same general preset. You're not going to the sounds not going to change. So watch what happens. Right now he's on E. Don't push your rhythm yet. Mm -hmm. He's got the easy button on. He'll push the easy button. Like we said, now push preset one, two, three. Okay. So you get those sounds as you're playing. Now, the rhythm preset button is still lit on yellow, so that's good. The minute he pushes a rhythm now, any rhythm, you'll notice it turned red and it activated the rhythm presets. And then you play it like you normally would. Now, keeping that in mind, once rhythm preset is activated and you have a rhythm, you're going to get sounds based on the rhythm, but this is the map of the sounds that right. you have. Okay, now. Yeah, I understand that part. Okay, now, some of you, uh, I noticed you put prestige, some of you prestige owners here, Liberty, there's a Liberty owner somewhere in there, Sterling. Some of you are blessed with the 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 screen. You can't do it there, Jerome. Yeah, I'm no sorry. Problem. But in the big window, the screen will actually tell you what those individual sounds are. But I always like having this map in front of me because sometimes it's kind of nice to know while I'm playing. If I want to finish with a big sound, I always go to rhythm preset 10. Or maybe I want a piano type sound. Okay. So, my computer's complaining that I'm going to lose power. Gotta, While he's doing that, I'm going to get some power here before we lose you. Some of you are. Some of you guys have the. Um, I'm glad I got that warning. <laughs> Sorry, my computer is saying I'm down to eight <laughs> percent. Plug in, or I'm going to lose everyone. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. And some of you. Have, Who's it? Somebody playing? Oh, they're testing it out. That's all right. All right. Go ahead. Some of you guys have got um, uh, um, general presets or category presets. Ooh. Now. Tell me more. Tell me more. Now, you can have up to one, I think on the fanfare, one category preset. No, three or four. And on the. Uh, Odyssey, there's one category preset. Yeah, one category preset. On the legacy here, you got four category presets. On uh, the um, Prestige and the A series, A five hundred series, you're gonna have a lot. Okay. <laughs> I, <laughs> I can, can count I them can, all. I can okay. give you a pretty close guess. And there, if you got those instruments, Robert. Um, yeah, there are eight category presets a page. There's two pages on the Prestige. Right. And then there's a group of five on the organ so eight plus eight plus five yeah I whatever that I and then if you have the sterling and the symphony and some of you have a marquee et cetera, et cetera, there's more categories but category presets they start on the encore mm -hmm. for those of you who have the encore um the holiday classic, classic. But, you know we didn't play the holiday classic yeah. i set it all up i might just you can stay there <coughs> and i do have mobile mo mobility here so yeah I did all this work to set this up. I might as well play something. All right, but this is the holiday classic back here. The category setups are in the same place. The encore, the setups are in the same place. Um, the premiere has how many? Premiere. Take a guess. I'm going to say three. Okay, I don't know if you're right. I don't know the answer. <laughs> I'm looking at one, but I can't see all the buttons oh, on it. There's about three or four. Point is, is they all, all the instruments have a certain number of category presets. So what does a category preset do, Jerome? A category preset is for that person who likes one favorite style of music. And you got some choices and some selections on there. For instance, there's a person I know that loves country music and all of the country band members. And I think she used to be a roadie. She used to follow them around all the time. So she could pick out the fiddle player. She could pick out the banjo player, the mandolin player. The harmonica player. These are all country musicians, okay? And I'm saying that she was a roadie, but because I, I believe she re, she uh, actually, when uh, in her younger days, she did follow them around. And some people just like that one category preset, and that's what Larry did for a lot of the organs. 
if you like big band, there's a big band category preset. Nothing but big band. So you can play big band with a ballad. <laughs> you can take the big band musicians and bring them over to the ballad button. You can take the big band musician and put them into the country button, like I heard Harry Connick Jr. doing the other day on the, some of the Christmas songs. You could take uh, the Latin uh, musicians and put them with a swing band. All right, hold on a second. Let me pull this up. I need, he's on a roll here. This is good yeah, stuff. Yeah, I love this okay, stuff. Okay, so here, there is the category presets. Now, this says it's the legacy manual, but guess what, folks? If any organ has a category preset, Anything we've taught you, if it if you have it on your instrument, the operation is the same. same. Just the bigger the organ, the more it has of it. All right. So here's a general uh, uh, category preset. So you see in this in this particular example, he mentioned country, big band, Latin, and sacred. Okay. So these are different than general presets. General presets are the same eight general sounds that you find on virtually any Lowry organ that has presets. Some have four, some have eight. Rhythm preset, on the other hand, will change those ten buttons to a sound based on the rhythm that you, you press. press. So if you put on Hawaiian like you did earlier, you're going to get ten different rhythm preset sounds for Hawaiian plus the original, which is zero. If you put on, I'm looking over a swing, you get... 10 different presets plus the zero. So you get really 11 if you have 10. Uh, the Odyssey has, uh, I think, eight buttons, I think, I or maybe six. Right. <clears throat> it, so it's going to give you that many. Now, these are a group of sounds that are very specific that will never change. So if you put on country, then you're going to get those types of sounds. That's the upper keyboard, by the way. And for those of you who have the Imperial, I noticed in the chat the Prestige Plus, et cetera, when you use the window, it'll tell you what's on the top and the bottom. These are just the sounds that are on the top. Now, Jerome made a very, very important point, and I have to tell you, I, if, if I put a nickel aside for every time I said this, I probably had a, I'd have a, I'd have a new Lowry organ. It's a very important point. A lot of people get stuck. The, here's four beautiful categories. A lot of people get stuck with. I'm only going to use that big band category when I'm playing big band sounds. Is that the case, Jerome? No. No, he says. No. And you notice he shouts it as he sings it yeah. with a beautiful melody note. No. No. Of course not. Yeah. <laughs> you can take. Um, we have to have fun here, folks. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can take those category presets and use them with whatever, whatever rhythm you like. Them to you go know what, Jerome? Okay. I think we've been talking too much. You're going to have to demonstrate this. Okay. So let's do the, the the typical, though. Pick a big band rhythm. Okay, I'm going to pick a big band rhythm. Usually, we'll pick a big band rhythm. And most yeah. people start off with a rhythm preset first, right? You right. put on rhythm preset first. Rhythm preset first, yeah. right. And then, you know, you'd have your 10 rhythm preset sounds. plus. The, so you got 11 big band sounds. However... He's going to go over and push big band. Go ahead and push big band. Big, I got big band. The category. The category, okay. All right. And and now he's going to play a couple of the song, a, a song, whatever, with a few notes. Now, as he's playing, I'm going to put the screen up so you can see. on number three right now. Now he's on number four. Chet's guitar. Okay. Now. Now, I, I'll tell you what I love about the big band category. It's not that they're big band. Um, it's not so much that it's just big band music, but I happen to love these Big band sounds. I love saxophones, clarinets. These are like, these sounds are off my alley. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll put on a totally different rhythm. You know what? Let's do something totally different. Okay. Put on a Latin rhythm. Oh, I love Latin and big band. Okay. So we got a Latin rhythm, and he's got in there, looks like cha-cha. Well, I'm going to put something else on he's there. He's going to okay. put on some habanera. Tango, samba. Let's go with the samba. Oh, he can't make up his mind. I'm going to take it with the samba. All right, so he's got a samba on. 
-hmm. and he's going to use the Big Ben category. And okay. for your help, Jerome, I'm going to do this. I'm going to screen share the presets so you know what sounds are there. Okay, I'm going to start with number one. Oh, okay, so he's going to play a samba with this. Let's see what happens. Awesome. So in that case, you used number one. Did you use number two, it sounded like? I used number one, number two, and maybe number nine and ten. Number nine and ten. Mm -hmm. And that was trombone, saxophone, sax ensemble, and a brass section with a samba. And I don't know, it sounded great here. So point is, is that you can take those sounds and use them with other styles of music. Sometimes I'll take the Latin sounds and play them with the soft and easies and sometimes I'll take the and as long as you have the chart up you may find yourself saying you know like for example I may not use marimbas and steel drums with a soft and easy but I may use the flute the piano, piano yeah. the Spanish guitar the trumpet those are all great sounds that you can use you can interchange them well, one thing nice about those presets you know, uh, in, in teaching teaching music in in, in, in the army and in, in the high school, music always have to have somewhere to go, and normally it starts out medium, and it builds. It's going somewhere. The presets pretty much work the same way for the most part. Uh, your intro might be a little bit on the loud side, but uh, when you come to the verse. It's going to be a little bit softer, and then the chorus, and then the second verse, and then the chorus, and then it builds and builds to you. Number 10 is going to be, you know, your finale. That's the way these presets are worked out to be. In between, you're going to have a lot. In other words, in between, you're going to have a lot of different things that you can change. For instance, on number one, it might eliminate one of the um, uh, um, orchestra plus buttons uh, or the genie or vice versa. So your music is going to start out with a strong intro, and then it's going to go to the verse. you got to hear the soloist. And then in the middle, it might do something a little bit loud, and at the end, it's going to be a big finale. Number 10 is always going to, I won't say always, but for the most part, it's going to be your stronger sound on the instrument. It's probably going to be on the loud side. So in looking at what you're just talking about, if I'm using the rhythm presets, it doesn't show zero, you know, rhythm preset zero on this picture here. Right. Let me see if it's in the manual. Okay, so this particular one is always typically, I want to say, typic, it's it always has a pretty full orchestra. Sometimes it's a medium fullness. Sometimes it's a big fullness, all right? It's very rare that it's, it's very soft, all right? Yeah. So if you're playing a song... Just re here's a here's just kind of a, a quick little arrangement tip for you without having to do a lot of work. If you're playing your song and you say to yourself, I want to start off soft, mm -hmm. medium, full, mm -hmm. here's what I would do. I'd start off with these two presets because they're pretty soft. And then any other presets between three and eight, you don't have to use them all. You say, man, I'm going to go to number four, number eight. And then I want to bi and big, 9 and 10, 10. is always big. Yes. Sometimes I'll start off big, soft, medium. So in that case, I might go number 10, 1 or 2, and then play one of the ones in between. Especially if you play in a march. Oh. If you play in a march. Very close attention to that. You know, in march is always well, pretty much all the time it's going to be a huge beginning. Rhythm preset? Re preset. Zero. You can use preset 10 if you want to. All right, well, we'll start rhythm preset. Okay. And so he's uh, got rhythm preset, preset 10, 10, you said? Yeah. Okay. Let's do an introduction. That's big. Now he went.
went to number one. was zero which yeah. was like i said sometimes it's kind of a big sound yeah. the point of this is that if you use these setups with this mindset that i'm telling you you'll create you basically create an arrangement and arrangement is nothing merely than adjusting the band sometimes we do it manually but you have the trick right there here's another little tidbit for you before we do some questions and announcements yeah. rhythm preset four on the organs that have drum variation, rhythm preset four will many times activate the drum variation button. For those of you who have it, yes. write and, that down. And for the most part, you got some type of strings in there. A lot of people don't catch that. And I actually had, I learned that tip about eight years after <laughs> that was around. I heard someone teach it. I had one of the PAs, te they were teaching a class, and they said, did you know that Rhythm Preset 4 on the A series, and I think on the SU series too, or some of the models, if you have drum variation, will activate drum variation. And I said, is he telling the truth? And I went and I started pushing Rhythm Preset on the org, and golly, I learned something new. So you always learn something new. Okay. We yes. talked a lot, showed a lot, a lot, you played today, a lot. Yes. I think you'd better let them ask you a question. Yeah, let's hear, let's hear from the audience here. Although, they look musically smarter. I'm I looking at, I, I mean, look at Marilyn Evans here. I, I mean, just look at Marilyn Evans. I, you look I, beautiful, I, Marilyn. I tell you what, I can see a clef, <laughs> I can see a clef sign. In How you doing, eye. Ron? I don't hear you, but I see you say pretty good. Nice to see you, buddy. All right, Mary Townsend with an Odyssey. You have a question. Yes, I do. You mentioned a zero preset. I have the Odyssey, but I start out with the number one. I don't know where the zero okay. preset is. Okay. That is a great question. Zero yeah. is one of those things we talk about a lot, and if we don't explain it properly, shame on us, because there is no button that says zero, but you do have it. In fact, every organ that has rhythm preset has it. When you first... This button here, rhythm preset. That's zero. Actually, you see it right here with the, the group of organs. So yours yours has, uh, I want to say, eight, eight of these. Yeah. Okay. Eight. So when you have a rhythm like a, a soft and easy, polka, whatever, and you have this button selected, rhythm preset zero. Let me see if I can do a little that bit. That is zero. This rhythm preset is considered zero. Let me see if I oh, can. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. So it's a zero button. The rhythm preset is a zero button. Yeah, give me one second. I'm just trying to make it really Mary obvious. Townsend I mean, not really. I got <laughs> thousands in my family. So. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, okay. that's my, that was my married name, <laughs> Townsend. All right, so when you have a rhythm selected and rhythm preset lit with no other button selected, this is called rhythm preset zero. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. It, they don't have a zero letter on number on it, but that's what, when we say rhythm preset zero, or for those of you who have style setup, style setup zero, that's what we're referring to. It means that button pressed. And, you know, some people will say, well, why wouldn't they make it 11 in this case or nine? Well, because then they'd have to change the number because some of the organs have six of these, some have eight, and some have 10. And some have yeah. So zero is an additional preset. Yeah. So if you have eight buttons, you have eight rhythm presets for every style plus the zero. So that's nine. Right. Okay, but that's the zero. Does that oh, help? I have another question. 
How sure. do you get a finality if you do not have nine and ten? <laughs> okay. Can you use the eight button for a finale where it isn't strong What enough? you don't want to do is ask that question with a bunch of salespeople on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to sell me another organ. I know. Uh, but let me. <laughs> there is. There is. This is an alternative. It's not a hundred percent. Okay. It's not. It's probably. I don't know if you caught what I said earlier. Rhythm preset zero typically comes up to a medium fullness, sometimes bigger, depending on the rhythm. Like if you put Broadway rhythm preset zero, March. it's always big. The march, like yeah. Jerome showed you, it's always big, okay? Mm -hmm. One and two, however, is always much softer. So your alternative is sometimes reverting back to rhythm preset zero as your uh, finale. finale. I, I tend to do that a lot, believe it or not. And sometimes uh, on some of the models, number eight, if you if you end on number eight, normally they might have changed on some of the models to a bigger sound. Yeah, some models have it where eight. So th that one's a tricky. So yeah. you're always, zero is probably your first best bet. Eight is okay. Uh, the rest are going to be a hit and miss. You never know. Uh, one and two is always softer. One is very soft in the background compared to the other settings. Yes. Two, if you notice, it says a little more. All that means is it's a little bit more fuller in sound than the first one, but it's relatively softer. Did mm. that help answer your question? Yes, it does. Thank you okay. very much. I appreciate that. You're yeah, welcome. Thank you. Jeanette, with her now new Lowry Legacy, what's your question? Um, you mentioned something about these categories on the upper keyboard. What about the lower keyboard? Okay. So on the lower right, the lower left is typically yeah. cool. uh, commonly, uh, it's a basic sound, strings, flutes, organ. Okay. The upper keyboard, because of the manual, the way that's written, they when that came out, they always focused on the right. On the bottom right, your lower split, if you have a lower split, there are additional sounds put in there. Now, it does not follow the roadmap that I told you, though. So if you look at this here, all right, like you see here, it says if I put on rhythm preset three, I'm going to get an organ type of sound on the upper keyboard. The lower right may not be an organ sound. It may be harmonica, maybe guitar. This format does not apply to the lower right keyboard, but you will have an extra sound down there. Okay. You always think of it like a, a bonus sound. Okay. So it goes along with whatever rhythm you pick. Or? Oh, it'll go. Oh, it will be an appropriate sound for that style. Yeah. So if I have big band, put on big band variation one. What is that Chicago swing? What is it? Chicago swing one, two, variation two. Okay, um, so here's Chicago Swing. Here's Rhythm Preset Zero. We're going to play. Now on the top keyboard, he has trombone. What's on the right? Okay, stop it. Go ahead and press stop. So in that case, the upper keyboard had what? The saxophone. trombone? No, saxophone. Top keyboard. Trombone. Trombone, and on the lower right, it had saxophone. Which is, which is ideal for that. Now, if you put on number three Rhythm Preset, three, no, 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 Rhythm Preset Three, Oh, rhythm preset three. Got you. On the on the top keyboard, you get a nice good jazz organ sound. That's great for on the right lower right keyboard. Let me put the screen. Deep saxophone. You got a saxophone. So that sound is always going to fit the style still, but it's not an organ sound. So think of that lower right as kind of like just a bonus sound. Okay, great. Thank you. All right, great questions. Any others? <clears throat> Okay, what I'm going to encourage you to do is, we said a lot of things on here. If you have questions, please, 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 as the vice president of the company, I implore you to keep my salespeople busy answering your questions. Otherwise, this time of the year, they've had a lot of students bringing in little snacks and cookies, and they're just going to sit around and eat cookies all day. Make them help you. And answer these questions. So don't uh, don't be shy. That's what also the cookie part is fine. You can do that too. <laughs>
And if you want to Zoom them, you can do a Zoom quick. I know Sean does a lot of Zoom sessions. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, Jerome has been doing All of our salespeople are doing them now. And um, somehow Sean wants a virtual cookie. Hey, he's got Snoopy in the background running on his head there. There we go. Okay, Sean. Here you go. Here's a virtual cookie for you. He's going to show you how to eat it as well. That's how you eat it. Okay, folks, before we adjourn, J Jerome. Yes. I'm going to talk for a couple minutes. That's okay. going to give you time to eat your cookie okay. and think about a closing number you can finish with. All right? So let me change the camera view to me here. We don't want to watch you eating your cookie. There we go. <coughs> ah! <laughs> All right, folks. All right. Before we adjourn and Jerome eats his cookie and he's going to play a little closing number for you, a couple very, very important announcements for you. Uh, first of all, we are going to post this uh, class. If I get to it tonight, it'll be on our YouTube, so you can always go back and revisit. Keep in mind, our YouTube channel is content that's free to the world and everybody. We've started up a new page that some content is free and some of it isn't. And that's okay because it's worth um, the extra little uh, uh, patronage that you want to do to it. And it's called Patreon. Oh, look at that. Sean's going to help me. So if you go to patreon.com slash Fletcher Music Centers, you'll see it in the in the little, uh, what do you call that, the search thing there, his arrow. They, there where his arrow is. All right. Also, in a lot of the emails, I have a little link that brings you right to this page. You'll notice on this page, when you go to it, uh, as you scroll, there are some videos that you will not be able to see. Scroll. Uh, and it says you have to be a patron to see that. Now, that particular one, by the way, is going to be available, I think I said it, free to the world uh, on the 24th. So those concerts will be available, but the patrons get to see it early. Some of the classes that are taught, uh, you'll see that one there that I taught. Um, it has not only the class, but it also has some of the materials. You see how he highlighted that. And if you click on that, I don't know if your browser will open up. Let's see here. It'll open up, and it'll show you the, the, the information. So we're also posting some of the materials that we use. So it's definitely worth being a patron at it. It's, it's a very nominal in cost. Uh, and you'll get a lot of the content that's free, as well as content that we are designing strictly for Patreon members. Uh, about a week ago, Jerome, I took out my phone. He said, hey, record this. And I took my phone out, and I recorded him singing Silver Bells. Um, and he did it gospel style, too. It was pretty cool. Uh, and all yet, and it's we figured we'll make that available just for Patreon members. So that's uh, announcement number one. Announcement number two. This is big, big, big news. <clears throat> Let me see if I can pull it up now. Now, I had problems with my screen sharing, and so I'm going to hope that when I screen share this with you, let me pull it up here, folks. Let me see if I could find it. Jerome is almost ready to go. Uh, you ever push the wrong button on your electronic devices? Oh, here we go. I know none of you have computer troubles like I do. This hopefully doesn't freeze. Uh, you probably saw this, but um, we've had a lot of people say we had four different concerts. I didn't get to see one of my favorite artists. So we're going to do one, and we had it in four different groups. Uh, so first of all, I thought, as the vice president of Fletcher Music Centers, the least that I can do is also perform a concert. But I thought, you know what? I want a lot of people to show up. So we're going to make this very special. This is our last Sounds of the Season uh, finale concert. This is going to be, this performance will be available to the entire world. So go out and tell your friends. It's going to be broadcast through Facebook Live as well. Although if you're watching it on Facebook Live, you're going to see it mostly in gallery view. If you join us via Zoom, it won't be. It'll be kind of like how we normally do it. Uh, and I'm going to perform about half the concert and then our three special guests, Carrie, Joni, and Don, are going to be performing as well. Um, so we're going to do a, a, just a nice, good closing Christmas
holiday so sounds of the season concert for everyone. It's going to be December 23rd. You'll get your final uh, reminder on Wednesday, three hours prior to the event. So I do want to let you know about that. And so we hope to all see you there. And um, we're going to have a great time. We got a couple special little surprises for you there. So with that said, uh, I want to say thank you all for attending today. I'm going to change the camera. Let's see. Oh, I got to move the cart now. Jerome moved on me. Yeah, because Hold on, play, Jerome. Uh, Hold on, mister. Ukulele Hold on, on, mister. I got to put this camera over here now. Let's see if I can get you. Let's see if I can squeeze you. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see. I can move this. Hope I don't make you nauseous, everybody. Oh, oh, look at that. I am like a pro here. Boy, if I ever lose my job at Fletcher, I have a job at being a cameraman for Zoom people. I don't know not, about that one. Not. Maybe I, I already quit that idea, yes. even as I was saying it. <laughs> okay, well, that's about as best, close as I can get without knocking the TV you over. see my blonde hair. <laughs> okay, Jerome, say what you're going to say. Uh, the reason why I came over here because uh, I, I didn't have the ukulele luau over there. It's on the um, A300, and I wanted to play that because... The A300 is? The, 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 is the, uh, the one that has the USB with it instead of the... Uh, all right. The A300 is the holiday classic. Okay, go ahead. So, uh, Everybody, big round of applause. I um, hope I kept that cat that straight. And by the way, big round of applause. Let me get you all applauding on camera hey, here. Come on, give me a big round of applause. There we go. I've got the camera on you. Drum, look over here. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Say I love and, uh, you. We love you. And by uh, Oregon. By Oregon. Don't forget the um, <laughs> end of the year. Sell. And folks, we'll see you at the sounds of the season. 
I hope I didn't give you too much motion sickness here. Oops, let me change my camera here. And thank you very much. And stay safe. Keep playing music. And mwah. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, Robert. Bye bye. <laughs>